At first he comes across as charming, considerate and well-educated. But dig a little deeper and there's a much darker side to James Yates. He's violent, abusive and has a history of swindling cash out of women he meets on social media. He is very good at what he does. He is a professional narcissist and trickster. The only time I got a break from the abuse was when he was asleep. These women want you to know the name James Yates and they want you to avoid him at all cost. When I heard how far he'd escalated, how desperate he was, this is the time to do it. For every single victim that he has terrorised, this is where it ends. James, Pippa from A Current Affair. Are you Australia's biggest love rat? Tonight, how this Tinder swindler's lies were uncovered and a warning from his victims who feel let down by the justice system. How much money have you taken from your ex-girlfriends? How did you meet James Yates? James Yates added me on Facebook and I'm like, hmm, what's going on here? I saw where he worked, which was a big media organisation, so made contact to see if it could be a good networking situation. Media personality Mel Gregg wants to ensure no one else makes the same mistake she did. I was living in Wollongong at the time and he was in Sydney and he said he'd make the effort to catch a train down and go on a date in Wollongong. And I'm like, what a guy, look at the effort he's putting in to do our first date. The pair hit it off, so much so the date continued. He'd asked if he could stay with me for a week because something had happened to his house while we were on the date. Mel even lent James $1,000 as he claimed he'd lost his bank card, but it turned out he had no intention of hanging around. He said as soon as he got to work on Monday, he'd be able to sort it out. By Thursday, no sign of James, no sign of my money. Mel then discovered James had left behind this list of names he owed thousands of dollars to. Mel says she was then contacted out of the blue by a former partner who'd had James charged for assaulting her. She told me, I'm sorry to tell you this, Mel, but James tricked me out of $60,000. He was violent towards me. He's not the man you think he is. James Yates's persona shattered. In reality, James is a violent abuser. After Mel publicly warned others about James and his money-making moves, the floodgates opened. It was an avalanche of women contacting me when people knew. And still, six years later, once a month, someone will be tricked by James Yates, they'll Google his name, the article will come up, they'll make contact with me wanting to know did he do this to you? Mel slowly started to put all the pieces together. So these are just some of the initials of women we know who have also fallen victim to James Yates. These are the women that have agreed to let me share their story. The rest are terrified of him. They're also embarrassed. People don't understand how good he is at what he does. And there could be many more out there, couldn't there? People are watching tonight going, now it makes sense. Now I know who this guy is and what he did to me because it's really hard when you're in that situation with him. So this is the amount of money we can prove James Yates has taken from women and yours was the $1,000, wasn't it? Yeah, that's me sitting there. Um, but this is what we can confirm from the stories that have come forward. You can see it ranges in value. We've got $150, $4,000 and the big one here, $60,000 from one woman. That one truly breaks my heart because she is the most beautiful woman. She was a single mum. She had cancer. He was violent towards her and got $60,000 out of her. She's only just rebuilt her life. Jane, as we'll call her, is another victim of James Yates, the relationship ending in violence. Yes, the six worst months of my life. Jane says James would often fly off in fits of anger, usually about money. We were in the kitchen and then all of a sudden, like, he just lost his temper and he grabbed me by the throat, pushed me into my kitchen cupboards. Jane says James would send abusive messages when she would ask for her money back and make more threats of violence. How much money did you lend James Yates? I lost count after a while. If I was to sit there and calculate everything, I'd be fuming. But it's above $20,000, way above $20,000. 
Jane finally called the police. James Yates was charged with assault occasioning bodily harm and common assault. Jane bravely fronted court to see her abuser face the charges. Is there anything you want to say to your victims? Are you sorry for whom you hurt? James Yates pleaded guilty to both charges. In court, his lawyer, William Barber, said Yates had an addiction to drugs, alcohol and gambling and anger management issues. The court hearing, James has seven domestic violence matters on his record. He said Yates had led a troubled life, having spent 104 days in jail previously for assaults. The magistrate sentenced him to a three-year community corrections order and 100 hours of community service. James, are you relieved to not be going to jail tonight? Yeah. Are you proud of the way you've treated women? For Jane, it was a disappointing end to a near two-year battle for justice, but she just wants women to remember the name and stay far away. How are you feeling after that? Um, let down to be honest. It's been a long two years and he's pretty much getting a slap on the wrist again. How much money have you got off ex-partners? Do you ever intend to pay them back? None of that money was a gift. It's just deemed a gift by the legal system. We were expecting that money back, we were promised that money back and for some women that was their whole savings. Gone to him. There's not a nice bone in that guy's body. And if you or someone you know is experiencing domestic violence, there is help. Call 1800-RESPECT. That's 1800-737-732.